Hey y'all, it's Brooke. I am here to do a flip through of my Shabby Chic journal. It is on Etsy and I'll show you the size. It is like a little over five and a quarter by eight and three quarters with a like one and a quarter inch spine. This is the front. I got a little charm hanging there, a little crown. And there's the side with some trim, the spine, and then there's the back. And it has been matte mediumed on it. Seam binding closure. I'm gonna open it. There's the front. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got some journaling tags, with little garment pins and beads hanging on it. Tuck spot, little journaling card. Cute little picture with bulldog clip and a seam binding. Some cheesecloth in the spine. And I can't remember how many pages this one has. 108, I think. And you got some tabs, some twine, a little tuck spot, tuck spot, and a distressed index card. And then this is an index card journaling spot, tuck spot, some lacy tabs, graph paper, dictionary page, an old dictionary, washi tape, envelope, policy envelope, Another tuck spot index card. And this uh, one has two signatures. Stamp, book page, another tab. Another tab with twine. Little paper with tracing paper. Roosh tuck spot on an old, um, I think it's encyclopedia. Second signature, another little picture, tuck spot. And this was something that I found at an antique store and I just scanned them in and sized it down. Stamp, another one of those index card. journaling spots. Tuck spot. Tuck spot index card. Tracing paper, tuck spot. And I just tuck these ephemera pieces. If you buy it, you can put it wherever you want. Another policy envelope. I like to use envelopes to hide my sewn-in signature strings, tuck spot, pocket, whatever you want to call it. A little wrinkly from being tea dyed. Another tuck spot with an old guest check. Another tracing paper. And there's the back with another tag. And 
and then the pockets have been punched. And there we go. Shabby chic junk journal. Thanks for watching, guys.